Welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name is Tom, and in this series of videos, we'll be looking at SAP HANA Cloud Platform Virtual Machines. In the second part of this series, we will show you how to create a HCP virtual machine, and then we will also show you how to open a SSH tunnel to that virtual machine. There are some prerequisites for this lesson. The first is that you need a 64-bit Windows machine. However, this can also be performed on a Macintosh operating system. You have Google Chrome installed, you have Java installed, and the environment variable Java underscore home is set to the Java installation folder. And finally, you have an SAP HANA Cloud Platform account with a quota for virtual machines. Before we begin, let me demonstrate what you see in the HCP cockpit once you have the virtual machine quota enabled for your account. First, launch your HCP account cockpit and go to the overview page. Then, choose the Quota Management from the left navigation bar. Now, if you scroll down to the bottom of the web page, you will see the available virtual machines quotas that you have purchased. You can manage the quota by distributing virtual machines across different HCP accounts as required. Additionally, if you navigate back and go to your account for which the virtual machines have been assigned, you will find the Virtual Machines tab in the navigation area. We'll take a look at this feature during the course of the demo. To begin, we will set up the system. In this step, we will download the necessary SDK, tools, and software and extract them under a common location. To begin, click on the Start menu, and choose My Computer, navigate to the C drive, right-click, choose New, Folder, and create a folder and name it Work. Now open up Google Chrome, navigate to the site code.google.com slash archives that is both listed in this video and in the description of this video and download the latest version of OpenSSL. Make sure you download the 64-bit version. Now once that is downloaded, navigate to tools.hana.ondemand.com and there download the latest version of Java Web Tomcat 7 which is the Neo Java Web SDK 2.6.13. Once the SDK has finished downloading, you can find it in your downloads folder in your My Computer. Now right click on the Neo Java Web SDK and choose Extract All. Change the location to where you will extract it to C slash SDK and click on Extract. Now, follow the exact same sequence for the OpenSSL you just downloaded using Extract All and renaming it to C Work slash OpenSSL. Now you will have the following two folders inside of your work folder. Congratulations, you have successfully set up your system by downloading the required tools and software that are needed for creating a virtual machine and opening a SSH tunnel to it. Now, in the next part of the exercise, we will show you how to create a virtual machine on the SAP HANA Cloud Platform, and then we'll show you how to open an SSH tunnel to that virtual machine. To begin, click on the Start button, choose Run, enter CMD, now execute the command cd space c slash work slash sdk slash tools to navigate to the sdk tools folder. Before you begin, please keep in mind that if you are behind the proxy, you will need to use the HCP Neo commands for setting the HTTPS proxy host and port. To do these, run the command set https underscore proxy underscore host equals proxy and then also set https underscore proxy underscore port equals 880. We're not on a proxy so we will not be performing this. First we'll create the virtual machine by running the command neo create dash vm space dash dash size space x dash small space dash dash name we will name ours test vm space dash dash account and then enter your account name ours will be blurred out space dash dash host the host is hana.ondemand.com 
facebook.com space dash dash user and then enter your username and hit enter. When prompted for your password, please enter the password for your SAP HANA Cloud Platform account. Once you've successfully entered your password, you will be prompted to enter yes to save the password key. So type Y for yes and hit enter. Now we are generating a key pair, which will be used to log into the virtual machine. When generating the key pair, the file name is auto-generated and the file is saved in the directory where the command is executed. For security reasons, the private key and the generated key pair can be encrypted with a passphrase. So please enter your passphrase and then remember it. You'll ask to be confirmed it as well. Now the creation of the virtual machine was triggered. We have successfully created it. Now we will run a command to see the name of the virtual machine. So type neo list dash VMS space dash dash account, enter your account name dash dash host, which is of course hana.ondemand.com again, dash dash user, and then your username. Be prompted for your password. And you will see the name of your virtual machine as well as the ID and your username. Now open the browser, navigate to https on slash slash account dot eu one dot hana dot on demand dot com. Once there, log into your HCP account for which you have the virtual machine. Once there, you should see this dashboard. If you have multiple accounts, then please select the account and the sub-account with which the VM quota has been assigned to you. But then on the navigation bar, click the virtual machines beta option, and then you will see all the virtual machines you have. Here is a test VM that we just created. If you click on that, you will see more details about that virtual machine that you have just created, such as the virtual machine's ID, and its IP address. Now in the next step, we will establish a secure communication channel to the virtual machine over secure shell SSH protocol. We will open a SSH tunnel and get all the communication details needed to log into the virtual machine. So back in the SAP HANA Cloud Platform console client, enter this command, neo open dash SSH dash tunnel space dash dash vm dash id and then enter the vm id which is this number up here copy that paste it in dash dash space after the name dash dash account then enter your account name ours is blurred out once again dash dash host which is hana dot on demand dot com then dash dash user and then your user id which you can copy from up here paste in then hit enter we prompted for a password note you can provide a port on which you will connect to the virtual machine once the tunnel is open however if you do not provide a port then you will receive one automatically as you can see our port number here please note if the session gets closed or terminated you have to perform this step again and in doing so you will have a new port number now we will run this command to check if the tunnel was open neo bliss dash ssh dash tunnels so you can see all local open tunnels virtual machine port and our test vm port now that the tunnel is open you can use the ssh client of your choice to connect to the virtual machine using the public key and the connection details you got when executing open ssh tunnel you are now the owner of this virtual machine and can install your own software on it in the next lesson we will show you how to install r